Hello friends, I hope you all are good. In the last video, we have studied about the assembly language introduction and about its structure. In today's video, we will be studying about how an assembly language program is created and how it, the, this program is run in the 1851 program. So let's get this topic started by a simple question uh, that is how this program is created means what are the steps to create this program and how we can use this program to run in the 1851 chromatic controller so there are some few steps to how this file is created and what are the extensions we will be using and what are what is the i will also showing up simple block diagram to summarize all these steps so let's get this uh, let's move on to step number one so first of all you need an editor to type a program so in the market on 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 you can see in, on the internet there are many editors are available which can be used to create or edit the program earlier uh, the first one was the ms dos which was available on in all the mic in uh, windows computers but now as the technology has advanced we have some new software which can be used to write an assembly language program they are keel vs code um, notebook these are some ex excellent editors which which are used to create an assembly language program so the editor must be able to create an sky file as you know what uh, the file format a sky file i will not tell i will not telling you here so the file it usually follows a dos convention means the extension which was which used for a file so like for image it's dot png or dot jpg jpg similarly for source file we have an extension asm or src these are the two extensions which, which is used to name the file so this was the first step means first step of that of the creating a sun language program here only i have told you we all, that we only need an editor that can be used to write a sun language program and what is the extension of that file we would be so now we will moving on to the step number two now for step number two the uh, the source file with an extension asm which contains the program code is fed to the assembler now what the assembler does the assembler converts the instruction of that program code into the machine code means as we all know the 8051 microcontroller understands only binary language means it understands only in the form of zeros and ones so for that we need assembler which converts this course into machine language so this this assembler then produces an object file and a list file with an extension obg and lst these are the two extensions for these two files moving on to step number three now moving on to the step number three now the assemblers require a third step called linking now what this linking does it takes one of most object files and produces an absolute object file with abs extension now this absolute object file is fed to an 8521 trainer kit for monitoring the output means as you have seen in your college laboratory we have a kit on which a microcontroller is placed some LCDs, some uh, LEDs, and a keypad from which we can we write a code using for some foreign steps and we get a desired output. So this object file contains all, all that. Now this absolute object file is fed to an OH converter which converts the object file to hex file and this hex file is then burned into the room of the microcontroller. This is the same hex file which I have shown in my previous practical video and why we required it. I will give that link in the i button. So make sure to see that. Now with all these steps are summarized in a block diagram as you can see in the in on your screen. So now let's talk about some more about this uh, object file and assembly language file. Now let's us talk about the assembly language file. So the assembly language file is also called the source file and for the same reason this uh, the assemblers required this file with this extension that is src extension so the assembler converts this file which contains the program code 
इन टू मशीन लैंग्वेज एज यू ऑल नो माइक्रो कंट्रोल अंडरस्टैंड ओनली बाइनरी लैंग्वेज है एंड प्रोड्यूस ऑब्जेक्ट फाइल एंड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट फाइल विद दिस ऑब्जेक्ट फाइल एंड अदर फाइल इज ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड कॉल्ड द लिस्ट फाइल नाउ लेस्ट अस टॉक्स अबाउट वॉट दिस लिस्ट फाइल कंटेन्स एंड वॉट इज दिस लिस्ट फाइल एज इट इज नाउ लेट्स अस टॉक्स अबाउट दिस लिस्ट फाइल दिस लिस्ट फाइल इज ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शनल फाइल बट दिस फाइल इज वेरी यूजफुल टू द प्रोग्रामर एज यू कैन सी बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स द ऑफ कोर्स द एड्रेसिस एज एज वेल एज द एडर्स दैट असेंबल टू टेक्स्ट एंड दिस फाइल कैन बी एक्सेस एंड मॉनिटर ऑन अ पी सी and also you can also take up a hard copy of uh, this file and this file using this file the programmer can use easily detect and solve the errors which the sumra has detected so this file is very useful to the programmer now this object file which is now a error free file is ready to be input to the linker program and then it is the object file is converted to absolute object file which then converted to hex file as you have seen in the steps so this was the talk to this topic and i hope you understand the talk in this topic so give a like to this video and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of more videos till then stay home stay safe and wear a mask thank you thank you very much